Hamas on Wednesday night signaled its apparent rejection of the latest hostage deal proposal crafted by the mediators and approved by Israel. Reportedly, Osama Hamdan, a Hamas official based in Lebanon, conveyed this stance in an interview with Hezbollah-affiliated channel stating, Our position on the current negotiating paper is negative. The statement from Hamas came amid ongoing efforts by mediators including Qatar, Egypt and the United States to broker a truce deal between Israel and Hamas aimed at securing the release of hostages held by the militant group in Gaza. Hamas's press office later clarified the stance, emphasizing that while they hold a negative view of the current proposal, negotiations have not stopped. This indicates that Hamas still wants negotiations ongoing, albeit with disagreements on key aspects of the proposed deal. The proposed deal, which Israel has highly agreed to, involved phased release of hostages in exchange for certain concessions from both sides. However, Hamas perceives the proposal as insufficient in addressing its demands and concerns regarding the cessation of hostilities and broader issues related to the conflict. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, also known as Bibi, during a meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, reaffirmed Israel's commitment to launch a mass invasion of Rafah, a city in Gaza, regardless of the outcome of the negotiations. In response to Netanyahu's remarks, Hamas also warned that it will walk away from the negotiations if Israel proceed with its planned invasion of Rafah. This indicated the high stake in the ongoing negotiations and the potential consequences of a military escalation in the region. Meanwhile, Blinken has also retaliated the US position that Hamas bears the responsibility for obstructing the progress towards a hostage deal. He emphasized the need for Hamas to seize the opportunity presented by the proposed agreement and work towards resolving the crisis in Gaza. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.